Hi there folks, this is the next video on 30 taper tooling storage for the Miller machine. Uh, if you like what you see, please um, subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video. Now let's on with the show. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So I thought we'd go through the CAD quickly, so this is Fusion 360. I'm going to step you through the timeline. So first off, draw a um, sketch of the profile of the tool holder. Rotate the tool tool holder. Put a couple of bevels on for uh, just niceness. And then uh, off for the back of the original sketch for the tool holder. Just have to go up here and turn the sketch on and create another sketch uh, with uh, just a offsets from the original. Rotate that. As you can see, I've just uh, not gone the full depth of the tool holder here. You can see it'll just, uh, I think it's 15 mil uh, down the back. Uh, then put a sketch on the front for the lugs, uh, subtract that away, another couple of uh, chamfers, and uh, we're pretty much there. So uh, if we go up and we'll turn off the um, I'll turn back on the tool and turn off the two sketches so you can see it. As you might have noticed earlier, I put a joint in. Uh, so what we can do now is just uh, go in and animate this joint. And you can see how the tool holder just fits snugly over the, uh, snugly into the uh, tool um, pocket. So there you go, fairly simple. Uh, CAD. Uh, obviously all I do from this is export an SDL from the body uh, which is the, the tool pocket, storage pocket. Let me just take you on a quick guided tour around the uh, tool pocket. As you can see it's all fairly simple stuff um, but it's quite nice. Uh, so hopefully that will come out in the 3D printer really well. Um, so there you go, so hopefully you like that and we'll see how we go in the 3D printer. So again, just showing you how that fits on and off the tool holder. Okay, on to the 3D printing. So we now drop into Simplify 3D, my slicer, and um, drop the model in, STL file and it just drops in on the bed like this. So then you um, select a face to place that on the bed. So you just select any face on the flat surface, and there you go. And now you um, just center that up. Now we'll just have a quick check of the um, preferences for printing. And so 15% infill, uh, six top layers, two bottom layers. So there we go. So now I'll pop on to prepare for print and you can see that it's all uh, sliced it up and created all the toolpaths. So if we go back through we can see the main cone is um, all solid with four layers. This is printing at 0.7 mil thickness. Uh, and then so I've got two bottom layers with some infill and then the structural part is the six top layers and the layers in the cone. Just save that and uh, that's on a disc ready to go in the um, 3D printer. And here we go, so this is 64 times print speed, it's about just over half an hour print. You can just see the bottom layer's gone in and there's some infill and now it's putting the top layers on. And here we go, sprint up the cone, so quite a bit of cone to go, but uh, yeah, so all cracking away quite nicely, no problems with the print, no lifting or anything like that, so yeah, it's good. So print went really well, to be honest. So there you go, came out of the 3D printer quite well, quite like the finish on that, and um, generally I don't think I'm going to have much finishing to do, just knock a couple of bobbles off, maybe run a bit of sandpaper around the inside just to tidy it up. 
So there you go, and then after that I made myself a little rack. Um, each of the uh, pockets goes in a 40mm uh, hole that I drilled with a hole saw, and uh, looks quite good. So there you go. So thanks very much for watching. If you uh, like what you see, please do so, and I'll see you again. Cheers.